Good morning, my dear pupil teachers of B.A. second year. The subject is pedagogy of English, and paper number twelfth and thirteenth. And the topic is the effect of audio visual aids in ELT English language teaching. This question is frequently asked in university paper. After two year, this question appears in exam. So uh, be careful to learn this. Uh, I have uh, taught you all the teaching aids which are in your course. They are to be summarized and give a detailed question. Now teaching points are introduction the textbook blackboard flannel board flashcards charts model realia object radio tv these all are we have learned separately hmm? but uh, as a one question including all these uh, essay type question, they all should be mixed in the answer. Introduction. So it is a very obvious thing. It is needless to say that uh, these are very uh, effective in English language teaching because uh, they uh, influence uh, our sense of organs, that is eyes, ear, these are our sense of organs. So the teaching becomes effective, interesting and long lasting due to the uh, use of uh, these audiovisual aids. And the students uh, uh, don't uh, feel boring. They are interestly, interestly take part in the teaching learning process and their participation is master. Now textbook. Textbook is the oldest uh, aid and uh, it contains the uh, teaching material according to the syllabus and it is a guide to the teacher so that uh, he remain in the uh, area uh, don't wander out of the course and uh, it is very helpful to develop all the four skills that is LSRW listening, speaking, reading, writing when teacher reads students are listening and uh, uh, te uh, teacher uh, asks some question from the book they speak and uh, teacher say them for loud reading, they read. And from that book, something is writing. So all the four basic skills uh, can be uh, fulfilled from this uh, textbook. Now number two, blackboard. Uh, it is said that uh, that classroom is not a classroom, but only a room where there is no blackboard. So blackboard is an essential part of uh, a class. Uh, uh, it is uh, at least uh, a permanent aid stuck in the wall. So teacher can write on it, teacher can draw pictures, a teacher can um, teach them spelling, meaning, composition, etc. can be taught with the help of blackboard. So, uh, these are two things are very obvious to say that they are very important. The flannel board. Flannel board, we have learned how to prepare flannel board. Can any, any picture can be stuck on the flannel board. So, anything the teacher want to display before the class, uh, he can stuck on the flannel board and as um, till he wants. Whenever he uh, wishes, he can remove them from there. Uh, it is very important for teaching 
speaking uh, and spelling and uh, for reading writing hmm sentence card is there he speak to student to read it then the reading develop uh, uh, and uh, for uh, composition also anything can be stuck planner board then flash card flash flash means a momentarily uh, uh, there are these are just like postcard they are uh, made on the thick paper just like a postcard uh, the pictures are drawn on it and uh, there may or may be uh, the words or sentences so they are also very helpful for uh, um, vocabulary increasing uh, what is this picture is uh, there so this is a mouse this is a, a bus etc they are of two types generally two types one when there is a picture drawn on it uh, with or without the word or sentence describing the picture Hmm. Uh, picture is there and opposite side there may be read etc written so that uh, what is this 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 read this in this way so uh, one type is a picture flash card where picture is drawn and second where uh, there is words phrase or sentence flash card these are written on the flash card then this is called word phrase and sentence flash card uh, Uh, meaning of uh, to keep the meaning of words, synonyms, antonyms, uh, correct pronunciation, correct uh, uh, spelling, etc. can be taught with the help of these. And then fifth is charts. Chart is also a very important uh, aid in teaching English. Hmm. This is very uh, easily handleable. and it is easily carried anywhere uh, you can roll it and carry it uh, in the class also so on charts uh, uh, teacher uh, prepare it uh, in advance hmm? before teaching he can uh, prepare the teaching materials on it he can draw the picture he can draw the word words sentence etc then they will be called sentence chart word chart picture chart uh, uh, so anything can be drawn on them and they are also very helpful in teaching composition reading writing spelling etc so uh, this is a visual hmm? flash card is also visual uh, blackboard is also visual textbook is also visual Uh, these all are visual uh, aids, teaching aids. Now, model, realia, object. These are also introduced to you. Model when we cannot uh, bring the thing in the class, we bring its model. Suppose we want to teach about uh, Taj Mahal. Ah, uh, uh, the Taj Mahal was built by Shah Jahan. Uh, when it was built, uh, why it was built, uh, then the model of Taj Mahal will attract the attention of the students, and uh, they will write the composition on it. Uh, what are there? There is a garden. There are pillars, uh, etc. So model uh, create a real life situation. and realia and object are itself themselves real realia means real thing uh, to develop conversation communication uh, some real thing can be brought in the class suppose we brought a ticket railway ticket uh, um, from where the uh, passenger has come to from uh, is written there oh he has come from ahmedabad and uh, where he uh, reached uh, he reached to our road 
what was the date uh, he see the date in this way communication can be developed with the help of realia um, hotel bills uh, um, market bills uh, etc can be used for developing communication these are called realia and object means object vastu uh, just like a ball just like a balloon hmm? balloon we can uh, this is object hmm? Uh, uh, for developing the communication, uh, lemon, apple, hmm, orange, these are these things can be carried to the class. Teacher can put them in pocket and show them in the class. So these are for the uh, purpose of uh, developing communication, uh, make the students speaking uh, and uh, and answering. These are helpful. And then radio and TV. Radio is audio. With audio uh, aids, we can uh, hear, we can listen, and TV is audio visual, both audio as well as visual. We can hear it as well as we can see. So whatever we see is visual. Whatever we can listen is audio. So uh, with the help of uh, radio and television, uh, teacher can uh, uh, teach student correct pronunciation. Uh, the speaking way, how a, an ideal uh, teacher or person speak in English, what is intonation, what is stress, what is pause, etc. can be taught with the help of radio, TV, etc. And they create very interest in students. So uh, they uh, make the class alive, jinda. Hmm. Otherwise, uh, students uh, only theoretical teaching will make them bored. In this way, these audio visual aids are very helpful in teaching English language teaching. ELT. Uh, now, there are some questions. First question I have given about all these things. In ELT, English language teaching, what is the importance of textbook? Right? Three or five, uh, four or five sentences for the A section. For the A section, where you have to answer in 50 words. Uh, in 50 words. In B section, you have to answer in 250 words. And in uh, section C, you have to answer in 300 words. So I will uh, solve one day, one day uh, tell you the tips of uh, answering the question paper. That will also be taught to you. Uh, now, this is textbook, blackboard, flannel board. Flashcard, charts, models, realia, objects, radio and TV. All you have to write five sentences. Hmm? Five sentences for the purpose of section A. Hmm? And uh, so question two is for section C. That is detailed question. 300 words. How can English teacher use different audio visual aids for effective English language teaching. Hmm? This question is very important. Please uh, be careful. Uh, so, and surely come and something will come from it surely. Every year. Okay. Uh, now I have to say something to you about this Corona that uh, don't leave your house unnecessarily. And if it is very necessary, then wear the mask and keep distance at least 60 feet from any person. And uh, uh, after coming home, don't forget first of all to wash your hand with the soap, sanitizer, anything. Uh, and uh, only then you can you touch the things in the home. Okay. Uh, have a nice day, my dear pupil teachers.